it's really hard to pinpoint exactly what it's about. I'm a fan of ambiguity, I don't like to spell things out. I think everyone's got their own impressions uh, on what they make with associated images. And here's a guy that's heavily dependent and rooted uh, in the mass media. He's his social relations are fairly poor, uh, they're inadequate at the best of times. He's read all the self-help books and everything else, he's just trying to formulate who indeed he is. He's very debased and uh, he, he doesn't expect that anyone would like him uh, for who he is anyway, so he kind of makes up a series of characters along the way. He starts to realise that you know, time is critical and he's got to do the most with, you know, he's really going to enforce this woman, uh, Caitlin. Um, he's the other central character to, to like him, you know, but you know, there's, there's a big rush going on. It's like, well, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm putting all of this on you, and you're going to be the source of my salvation, you know. The project was due on the first week uh, back from the holidays, you know. The idea that I have is people would actually ha have more time in the holidays, but uh, we went through two characters and um, you know, because of commitments, it pushed my deadline back uh, and that's impacting on the time that I've got for editing and, and sound recording and probably work, you know, three weeks to do it. I didn't start filming to the second week. Quite night, isn't it? Uh, yeah, sure. You can uh, buy a drink. Um, no, uh, that's the wrong line. It's alright. I know you're, <laughs> <laughs> you're improvising. You know, no end of problems, just trying to... Just trying to get my two pivotal central characters together. I got one day, but you know, I kind of needed... I needed more. I shot... I shot one day at Tillerman. We got about six hours um, at Tillerman's. Five or six hours all up, so you know, we got everything we needed there, and that was the crux. I mean, that's the first, first scene. On the third week, uh, there was a number of times when I outlined um, uh, times to shoot, but I had to work around weather, you know, I'd be pissing down the ranks, I need outdoor shots, uh, and I had to tie in with the weather, and I thought it took about three or four days, uh, wet days, which just kept pushing my deadline back, and then just trying to coordinate that with um, my actress's timetable, because she was at school, so, you know, you could only sort of, uh, and this is, this is, uh, pre-daylight saving, so you got it maybe you know between four and six slot before um, workable sunlight and, and prep and everything else. So it really was, uh, it was you know, it's quite conflicting. Uh, well, I mean, I haven't stopped it completely. Uh, in fact, uh, you know, in regard to, to this documentary, I'm, I'm going to uh, resurface it. Uh, I mean, so far what I've got is good, what I've got down in film is good, and I know I can do a, a, a lot with it. Now, I've got the script down, but I don't need to go um, by the book with that. Hey, stop it. It's fine. Maybe he's not even staring. It's just... like, he so is. Mm. Maybe he's staring at you. No. <laughs> it's totally at you. <laughs> so, so Are you going to check some headphones, girl? <laughs> From here, uh, I don't know. I guess at this point, I'll um, I'll look at shooting um, the rest of this movie, uh, do the editing, and get the sound recording and everything up to up to the standard that it should be. You know, if I'd have handed in, it, I mean, if I could have got it in on time. It would have been a very weak product. Uh, it jeopardises your vision. It's jeopardised anyway. The whole vision, the storyline was jeopardised from the standpoint of all the problems that I have with, with actually fitting the cast to, to the role. Um, but, you know, it would have been an inferior product and it would have been something that I wouldn't have been happy handing in because the sound would have been poor. You need time to, to work this in. Uh, audio dialogue replacement and um, you know, uh, uh, appropriate music and effects and, and nice editing, nice sequences. Okay. okay. Alright, here we go. So we're doing this again? Yep. Okay. And we're rolling. Action. Interesting.
guys. Like, how are you staring at you? Sometimes. Sometimes ideas in our head become firmly rooted. They need to be plucked out of them. It's like the soil. It's a very delicate thing, you know, and you just don't know how far things are going. Until you look a little closer at the detail. Appreciate things from a new angle. It's a very fragile thing. Beautiful. Beautiful. Who knows? There is hope for us all.